I need one of y'all to call Drake and tell him I got his charms ready. Hey, what's up? T-R-O-Y, the maker, checking in. If this is your first time here, I do project videos using a Glowforge 3D laser printer. And if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell so you will be notified when I drop a new video. Welcome to the project. In case you didn't know, I love jewelry. And I really love making custom jewelry with my Glowforge. So there's this celebrity jeweler. His name is Jason of Beverly Hills on Instagram. And he made these custom Tupac chains for Drake sometime last year or something like that, I think. But when I seen them, I knew I wanted to try and make some for myself out of acrylic. And today is that day. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these images right here that I have on my iPad and I'm going to trace them. And I'm going to use this app called Adobe Draw. This is one thing that I like about this Adobe Draw app. I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that, but it has this feature on here that's a time lapse. So whatever you're drawing or tracing, it automatically creates this time lapse for you. Once I got through with the traces, I exported them as PNGs and I airdropped them to my laptop and then I opened that up into CorelDRAW and I ended up breaking up all of the pieces. So this right here is going to be the brown acrylic and I got the little part up here at the top where I can put my jump ring through, where I can hook the chain to. The red is going to cut it out and the green I'm going to score those parts in so I can have a guide to follow. These right here are the crowns that I trace. I'm going to do one in mirror gold acrylic and the other one is going to be done in mirror silver acrylic. These two are the bandanas right here. I'm going to do one in blue acrylic and I'm going to do the other one in red acrylic. And this right here is the hair that's on the face. So I'm going to cut these pieces out in black. And as you can see, I don't have any eyes right now because it was so much detail. I don't really know how I'm going to do it, but I'm just going to probably draw or do my own eyes. I might get the eyes off of a Glowforge print or something like it and just put some eyes in there and I hope it looks right. So let's head to the laser and cut it out. Okay, we got everything cut out. As you can see, we have a lot of small pieces. I'm gonna use this E6000 and I'm gonna put it in this syringe and that's how I'm gonna add them to this piece. I'm also gonna use this wax pen right here that I got so I can easily pick up the pieces like so and also as you can see this is the eyes i ended up just cutting out the shape of this eye i got this shape out of glowforge print right here and this is what i'm going to use for the eye and i'm probably just going to use like a, a probably like a white paint pen or something and just put a dot hopefully it turns out right but that's what i'm going to do for the eyes and and also i took the masking off of the back of all of these pieces so i can know which way that is going to go onto the design like that so I can know that I'm gluing it on the correct way like that. Okay, it's coming along way better than I imagined. We have the eyes right here to put on, and I have this other little blue piece right here to put on, but it's coming along really, really good. And then I thought about, I knew I wanted to use some type of diamonds, especially for the face right here. And I ended up finding some Soraki crystals that I had been having for a while now that I haven't even used. And I added the Soraki crystals to a crown like so and this is what it turned out it looks really really good instead of it just being a solid mirror uh, acrylic I'm, i like this right here way better with the soraki crystals on top and this is going to be the crown i'm also going to add the soraki crystals to the gold and hopefully it looks just as good as the silver one do okay i got all of the pieces put on. It's turning out all right. I'm going to let it dry overnight and I'll see y'all tomorrow. Day two.
Okay, now let's talk about these pieces. These charms right here was not easy to make at all. With all of the little pieces, I tried to capture the little details like in the eyebrows, in the mustache and beard and stuff. And with the eyes, I just used a paint pen to put a little white dot inside of the eyes to give it some lifelike. And with this E6000, sometimes it's easy to work with, sometimes it's not. In this particular design, especially on the blue one, it was not easy to work with. I got E6000 all in between the eyes and all that, but it'll be all right. Look how these mugs shining in the dark. They shining super hard in the dark. Look at that. So rocket crystals is hitting hard. Yeah. <laughs> Lights on. And there you have it. And if you think I did a really good job on these Tupac charms right here, drop me a W in the comments right now. And also, if you like this video, Make sure you give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next project. Let's go make something else. Turn the lights back off. <sighs> so I can see these mugs shine a little bit longer. Look at that. Shh. Them mugs is hidden. <laughs> and we out.